Hi everyone, Big Paulie back with a brand new video. Do you know what? It's been three months since we've done a What Flick Will Paulie Pick? I think it's time we did one. Yes, pardon? Yes, uh, I had to look back at what actually won. Uh, let me put it here. It is Bridesmaid with 37% of the vote. Uh, surprisingly, I've never seen the film, even though I do own it on Blu-ray. So let's go into the bedroom and let's find it on the shelf. I do believe it's in a white case. So I'll just go to the white section and that's not being racist. Yeah, so let's go and pick it out. Okay, so here we are at the white section. Yeah, I can see it. There it is. Bridesmaids. Yeah, uh, and I also put it in a nice pink case as well. Fantastic. Okie dokie. Oh, look at that. Isn't that nice? Ah. Oh. Okay, let's go and watch it. One eternity later. Okay, so bridesmaids. Um, I thought this was supposed to be funny. I thought it was supposed to be a comedy. It's got ten out of ten. Very, very, very funny down there. But I think I can have them have have them up for trading standards on that. Yeah. Uh, I mean, out of the entire film, I laughed twice. Maybe. Uh, one of the times was the food poisoning. Uh, in the clothes shop but yeah it wasn't really that funny um it had the same kind of hu forced humor that the female ghostbusters had you know they tell a joke and you expect it to laugh but there's just deadly silence from the same same bloke isn't it was it paul feig paul feig feig yeah uh this is basically just a about a lot of women that are going to go to you know, that are, that are bridesmaids that are going to go to a wedding of this this character, Maya Rudolph. I've never bloody heard of her. I was going to say they could have actually picked someone recognisable, you know, someone that everybody knows uh, for the lead role. They had good characters, you know, they had good actresses in there for so many other roles. Kristen Wiig, uh, again, she was unfunny, same as she was unfunny in Ghostbusters. Um, you had the woman from The Office, the American Office, whatever her name is. And you had, what was, what was her name there? Um, I can't remember her name. We got uh, Rose Byrne. Rose Byrne. She was quite, she was quite good. Uh, but it was all fighting between the women and the endless bickering and, oh, I'm better than you. Oh, I'm better than you. Oh, no, I can do this one better than you. Yeah, between her, between Rose Byrne and Kristen Wiig, it was like any office that has women in it, bitching all the time. You can't get away from it. Uh, I've seen it in every job that I've actually worked. <laughs> Going right back to leaving school. Uh, and you just see it in general. It, yeah, uh, it's just a film about women bitching and trying to outdo each other. Uh, now Melissa McCarthy was in it. Uh, I think she was probably the funniest thing. That's the thing. A lot of people don't find her very funny. But some things that I've seen her in. Actually. Yeah she's pretty funny. Uh, Mike and Molly. She was fantastic in that. Uh, and the, other, the, the film The Heat with Sandra Bullock. She was really funny in that. So she can be funny. Um, when she needs to be. Uh, but that's the thing about fat people. You're funny. <laughs> um, don't lose weight because you'll be unfunny. Yeah. Uh, there's other people in it. Ellie Kemper. I think that might be the one from The Office. Wendy McLaren Covey. I've never heard of her. John Hamm's in it. But he's only there to provide shagging duties for... Uh, Kristen Wiig 
there's not really any plot. It's just one scene after the other about women bitching with other women. Out trying to outdo each other. Um, and trying to get shagged. That's that's basically it. Yeah. Um, better than The Hangover. Piss off. Outrageously funny. The funniest film of the year. I don't know who these people are. Who are these people? God knows. Yeah. Yeah. Nah. Nah. I thought it. P people made it out to be this massive comical hit. Don't get it. Don't get it. It's uh, definitely a one time watch. And it was just, I mean, the first 30 minutes was boring. Absolutely boring. Nothing happened. Uh, you've got. What's his name? Chris O'Dowd in it as a cop, an American cop. Can't even be bothered to put an American accent. I just found it very boring and just feminist crap. Yeah. Oh, well, there you go. You win some, you lose some. Uh, by the way, I did remove the pink case so you know what that means. Yeah. Yeah, into the recycling it goes. There we go. Okay, Paul. Now, here's the thing. When somebody says it's really funny, don't listen to them. <laughs> okay. Right, okay. We pick a better... We, I suppose we better pick. Yes, we better pick another five out of the old pot. Uh, see what we can get out of the pot for the next uh, what flick, which hopefully won't be in three months' time. Okay, that's enough. Right. Can we ping? Yes, we can ping. Still a lot in there. And I haven't put any more in there, by the way. More in? Yeah. Okay. Let's take out the first one then. All right. Okie dokie. We have this one here. Uh, what have we got? We have got the Night Clerk, or the Night Clerk, if you're in America. Uh... Okay, not sure what that one is. I think it might be the bloke from, the, the kid from Ready Player One. Might be, I'm not sure. Next up. Uh, we ha Oh, we have Detroit with um, Finn from Star Wars. Yeah, okay. Third, what are we going to have? Let's pick one right down the bottom there. Let's pick that one. Okie dokie. Uh, that's a long one. Okay. What we do in the shadows. Uh, and that's not about Hank Marvin. <laughs> I think it's the vampire one, isn't it? Isn't it the vampire one that's a bit like Spinal Tap? Kind of like told document documentary style. Okay, next one. So we've picked out three. Uh, okay. Hmm. Frankenstein monster from hell. I don't know. Uh, could be an arrow release, maybe. Arrow! <laughs> and let's pick out the last one. There we go. That's the last one. So we've done four. Uh, and we have an animated film, The Breadwinner, which I think uh, was subscriber mail. I think. I can't quite remember. OK, so there we go. So we've got The Breadwinner. We've got Frankenstein, Monster from Hell. We've got uh, What We Do in the Shadows. The Night Clerk and Detroit. So five there to pick from. OK, so I will, as usual, stick a link down in the top of the description. Uh, just to uh, click on the straw poll link and go over and make your choice. And then we'll check out and see what that is. I told not to leave it three months until the next one. <laughs> 
Yes. Uh, okay, there you go. So that is another episode of What Flick Will Paulie Pick? This week, very disappointed. Um, one of the most unfunniest comedies I've ever seen. Anyway, there you go. You win some, you lose some. Okie dokie, till the next video then. Bye-bye. <laughs>